Hi guys, in today's topic we'll be speaking about post-appendectomy complications. So under post-appendectomy complications, I have divided them into two types, uh, which includes wound complications and abdomen complications. So one of the most common complications present in both of them includes infections. And uh, I will speak more about post-operative infections over here, but before that, I'd like to tell what are the other complications present in both of this. So under wound complications, it includes seromas, abscesses, and hematomas as well. And in case of abdomen complications, it includes abscesses, bleeding, obstruction, peritonitis, stump appendicitis, intestinal fistulas, pyeloflebitis, and also other somatic complications. So let's move on to post-operative infections. Post-operative infections means infections that occur after operation. And what are the most common symptoms that these patients might have? It includes mild fever, abdominal pain, diarrhea, or even constipation. And they can also have persistent nausea and vomiting. They often suffer from difficulty in micturition and also pain in the lower extremities. And we can see wound infections and intra-abdominal sepsis most commonly in case of complicated appendicitis, aka perforated appendicitis. And if you see the incidence rate of uh, post-operative infections are more commonly seen after laparoscopic appendectomy. And also guys, if you want to learn more details about appendicitis, I will mention the link down below in the description box. So let's move on to the next type, which is bowel obstruction, also known as intestinal obstruction. Usually this bowel obstruction occurs after laparotomy and it will occur within six months of the surgery. And to identify a person's of a bowel obstruction, we can do x-ray and we can see signs of multiple fluid levels as in this picture here you can see multiple fluid levels over here and also we can see a dilation of the bubble. So these are these two are the most common uh, signs of bubble obstruction and with this we can identify whether there is a presence of bubble obstruction. So let's move on to the next type, which is miscellaneous type. Under miscellaneous type, these complications include several different complications, including urinary tract infections, pneumonia, and other general complications which occur after general hospitalization. And also there can be fecal fistulas, which can occur after surgery, and it is more commonly seen in case of perforated appendicitis. And majority of these fecal fistulas will close by itself, but some needs a surgery to be closed. Let's move on to stump appendicitis. Stump appendicitis, by its name itself, you can identify that it's the inflammation of the stump of the appendix. Usually um, stump is known as the residual part of the appendix after appendectomy. So if there is an acute inflammation of the residual appendix, it is known as stump appendicitis. And it can occur in any time period. It can be it can occur after a few months of the surgery or even after 20 years of the surgery. Let's move on to the mycocele of the appendix. Mycocele of the appendix usually occurs when the proximal part of the lumen of the appendix occludes due to a formation of fibrous structure, which is also caused uh, due to appendectomy. And the secretions produced by this residual part of the appendix remains sterile, but it gets accumulated inside the stump and it starts uh, being enlarged and it can even sometimes hold several ounces of mucus. 
And usually the symptoms of these patients include mild subacute appendicitis and also if there is an infection, that means if an infection occurs into this sterile secretions, it can turn into an empyema. But this mycocele, it can also rupture and it can cause serumyxoma in this case. And uh, next we have intersusception of the appendix, uh, which is a very rare scenario and there are no actual um, acute symptoms present with these patients. And also there can be diverticular of appendix, which can occur like one case in 200 cases after appendectomy. And also there can be endometriosis and primary Crohn's disease of the appendix, which is also a very rare scenario. And also if I say stump appendicitis and mycocele of the appendix, those two are also very rare. So that's it for post-appendectomy complications. I hope you guys enjoyed and please don't forget to subscribe and like my videos to support my channel. And thank you very much. See you guys in my upcoming videos.